are back on the road. We got the truck all packed up, freaking loaded. And hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing for Outdoors. Not sure if the title says it down below, but we are heading to Leech Lake in today's video. I'm going to be going out. I got a sleeper shack rented from the Great Trapper's Landing out on Leech Lake. In two Lake. miles, turn right onto County Road 15. Two miles, we gotta take a right. But anyways, y'all, um, I think we're going to be doing some walleye fishing tonight, and we might even get a, a special secret species. Anyways, y'all, I like to keep these intros nice and short. I got about an hour drive left, and uh, yeah, I might have to stop at a grocery store or something, but we'll probably just see a we arrive at Trapper's Landing. In 3.4 miles, turn left onto County Road 77. Woo! Rose while I'm giving roses. Fuck wow, holy shit, watch it hit them. Still a moment of stillness. Never thought I'd be a legend. like that y'all we have made it to trapper's landing it is so cool back here i almost got like a i don't even know what to call it a little, little compound wow this is nice look at the cabins they got freaking top of the line have to wait for somebody to come pick me up and bring me to the house. Ooh. And we are driving on the ice in the truck. This is awesome. I always forget how I always forget how huge Bleach Lake is. Like this place is giant. You can't even you can't even see across it. Look at that. We've officially made it to my home for the next two days. I'm just now remembering that these fish houses are massive and I have the whole thing to myself. Stay tuned y'all. I'll talk to you once I get all settled. Yes sir. Keeping them in two wheel drive too. Welcome back, y'all. I think we are all dialed. It's been probably like an hour now. I've just been kind of getting everything situated for the next couple days. But anyways, let me give you a tour really quick of Trapper's badass fish houses. Walk in the front door, dudes. And right off the bat, we got a flat screen on the wall with the aqua view down. It's getting dark though, so the water clarity is not the best out here. Anyways, keep walking to the left. We got a big old L couch and this thing has a stowaway bed also, so a bed pulls out of it. And then we got another bunk above it. There's three holes in front of this L couch also, but I actually put the covers on just so I don't fall in while I'm out here. Over here, we got a huge flat screen, which I believe is hooked up to cable or something like that then over here we got a nice little kitchen area i got my totes stowed under them that's just all like my cooking supplies and whatnot and then we got an oven and a stove i got some munchies and waters over here i actually brought my cure egg from home so i can have coffee in the morning next to the kitchen we got a huge heater we got a big old map of leech lake then over here this is where i'm probably going to be fishing like most of the time while i'm out here we got nice recliners with just one hole right here another hole here another hole here once again i uh put the covers on most of the holes i just left three holes open one for the camera one for jigging and then this is my bed for the night as you can see it is massive like this is like bigger than my king size bed at home. We also got another bunk right there above my bed. There was a nice little like kitchen table here in the middle also, but off camera, I took it down and just collapsed it to, to the bed so that I'm dialed for the rest of the night. Like I was saying though, I covered these holes just so that I don't drop anything or fall down the holes. I don't need 10 holes open in the house. So yeah, just got this one here. 
this one here and this one here but anyways y'all i think that is pretty much it it is looking to be i don't i guess i don't really know the exact prime time out here on leech lake for walleyes but uh most places right about now is prime time the sun is down and it's starting to get dark so i'm gonna set up some cameras and just once again get even more dialed for the night and i'm gonna start fishing and hopefully we can catch a walleye stay tuned rattle reel already don't even have a rod down yet and we've got a fish freaking peeling got him not feeling big not feeling big at all definitely a fish though oh my god freaking jumbo <laughs> don't think i mentioned it but i am using shiners for bait and show bang that's a beautiful jumbo perch i'm pretty sure i am going to be doing a catch and cook tonight at some point but i don't really want perch because i think i'm gonna I really want to bake some walleyes, so go ahead and let that guy go if he if he wants to go. Come on, bud. There we go. I want to get one nice walleye, like a 20 inch or something, because I'm going to flay it and I'm going to bake it tonight. So, yeah, I'm kind of getting sick of fried fish, so that's why I didn't keep that perch. Anyways, that was a really good sign. As you can see, I'm not even jigging yet. I just got the graph in my hole and I just grabbed my rods, so that's cool. One jumbo perch. Awesome way to start the night. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, I just missed one. Ah. Didn't take my bait, but it's definitely getting dark out. I doubt the perch are out still. Usually, once it gets dark, all the perch leave. Job. It's probably why you guys like watching me. Because I suck. Oh, yeah. Little update, y'all. I reeled up my jigging rod and I set up another rattle reel for the time being because I haven't marked a fish in like probably an hour and a half or I haven't marked a fish worth a damn in probably an hour and a half and I'm starving so oh my god it is so freezing out there I really wanted to have baked walleye for supper but I did bring a little backup just in case I didn't catch any walleyes bam and bam we got crispy honey chicken and we got some just some mixed vegetables absolutely destroy this and watch some TV. Okay. Those are pretty good. Vegetables aren't as bad as I thought. Let's try the chicken. Crunchy. But bomb. Hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. I got one rattle reel back there. I got the dead stick set up over there. Hopefully we can catch some fish, but yeah, in the meantime, I'm just going to chill out, kind of, 
Take a little break from. <coughs> oh, I just inhaled the Brussels sprout. I'm gonna hang out, scarf this down, and we'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Hopefully, we can catch a wild eye or something. <laughs> Oh Wow, what the hell is playing on the radio? We got some tea ripping. We got the jammas on. Oh, to uh, I'm gonna call her a night soon here. The fishing's not that good. I have marked a few fish, a few giant fish, but no success on them biting. Stay tuned, y'all. <laughs> pulled the old dead stick and we got the other rattle reel set up we got fresh bait on both of the rattle reels too and uh yeah it's freaking freezing out i had to go put gas in the generator and yeah it's pretty cold i'm not used to it i've been in my house the past couple of nights so yeah i think the low is only like negative 14 though but still pretty cold anyways y'all i'm gonna go to bed See you in the morning, or hopefully we can like catch one in the middle of the night or something. Time check. I think it's like 12 o'clock. Well, I think it's like 12 o'clock. I'm going back to bed. Bye, Felicia. Thanks for the ride. Do you know if this guy is pussy making you? In just case you guys are curious, it is six in the morning. By the way, I got about another third. I got like 45 minutes more to sleep, and I'm gonna get up and cook some breakfast, have some coffee. Hopefully, catch a wally. Yeah. <sighs> 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 
Freaking eggs are frozen. Eggs right in the bacon grease. Fin and feather. Stuff's the bomb on eggs. Look at that. I got myself an avocado this morning. Oh yeah. We've got the Z Viber engaged. We got a hot cup of hot chocolate and we got our eggs, bacon, and avocado. Stay tuned, y'all. I'm going to absolutely plow this. Drink a hot cocoa. Hopefully catch a fish. Oh. Look at my cup. It looks gross. <laughs> it's literally just hot chocolate from this morning and last night. And I'm watching cooking right now. Anyways, y'all, I think we might end this video here. Let me shut this off quick. The fishing wasn't absolutely on fire, but this house is freaking awesome. So it still made this trip just freaking awesome trip. I don't know if I mentioned this too, but we definitely got like a full-on snowstorm coming in right now. We're supposed to get like five inches of snow. That could definitely be maybe one of the reasons why the fish weren't too snappy. I mean, we definitely marked fish. There was definitely fish in the area, but I don't know. It's probably this big storm front co coming through or something, giving them walleyes lock jaw. Really wish I would have seen that fish I hooked into late last night. I think it was like three in the morning. Thing felt freaking huge at the time. I definitely thought it was like a bourbon or something, but after I caught that pike this morning, it definitely made me think about it a little bit more. <laughs> One more time, y'all. I would like to give the biggest shout out right here to Trapper's Landing. And you guys are ever in the area, you have to hit up Trapper's Landing. Whoa. Awesome people. These houses are awesome and huge. Like, it doesn't get much better than this. We just dropped some brand new Fish and More merch. I don't know if I've even mentioned that to you guys in any of the videos yet, but yeah, we got four new designs. This is like one of my favorites right here. I will link it down in the description along with Trapper's Landing and along with everything else I used in this video. Anyways y'all, hope you enjoyed this video. If you could, like this video, share this video, smash that subscribe button, and I guess all it's up to say, these guys are fishing more. Stay tuned for more.